first I will go over the four different things that can be performed with the SD card on the IV3. The first is simply transferring image data and status results to the SD card, which can later be transferred to a PC, for example. The second is increasing the number of programs to 128. Without an SD card, the limit on the IV3 is 32 programs. The third thing is automatically backing up the settings for the IV3 anytime a change is made to the program. And fourth, you can use this backup file to automatically restore an IV3 or transfer settings to a new IV3 if you desire. Now let's jump into the software. As you can see, I'm currently connected to an IV3 with my software, and I also have a brand new Keyence SD card inserted into my IV3. Now to set it up in the software, I'm going to first go to the advanced settings and go to the SD card tab. Here, the first thing we want to do is to format the SD card by hitting the SD card format button. It will give me a warning that all data saved within the SD card will be deleted. I'm going to hit OK to proceed. So just note that you will need to use an empty SD card to start this process. Once that is completed, I'll hit OK. And then you have a few options here. The first one is the SD card removal. If you want to remove the SD card to transfer those images onto a PC, Next is SD card capacity. So if I click here, I can get an approximation of how many images I would be able to save in various formats. So this is good for knowing when my SD card may reach capacity. Lastly, we have the SD card programs. So one of the main uses of the SD card is to expand the number of programs from 32, which is kind of the default what's built into IV3, and to expand that up to 128 programs. So if I want to use up to 128 programs, I will need to enable the SD card access, and I do this by creating an extension file. So this will take several minutes, but I'm going to hit OK. And I will fast forward until this process is completed, just because it will take a few minutes. All right, so now the creation of the SD card setting file has completed. I'm going to hit OK. You can see it's enabled here. I'm going to close out of here just to show you that now when I scroll all the way to the bottom, the last program is 127 for a total of 128 programs. So that was done successfully. Now let's say I have my program set up and I want to save images while it's running to the SD card. To do that, I'm going to go to Advanced Settings, and this time go to the Image slash Result Output tab. The Output Destination, you're going to select SD card, because that's where I want to output my images. And next, you want to go into the Global Settings, and here's where you can select the file format. So there are a couple different options or even combinations. I'm going to go ahead and select the IV3P slash JPEG. IV3P is just a specific file type that can be used within IV3 Navigator. So if you want to be able to load an image from file, you would need an IV3P. Transfer judgment results. If I enable this, it will actually send a text file along with my image with um, the statistics. So I will enable that just to show you. SD card transfer error, you can enable or disable that. Add result to images. If I click enable, it will actually add the OK or the no good result onto my image. So I will enable that just to show you. And then you can also select the image size from full or quarter. So if you are going to be saving a lot of images and are concerned about the file size and your SD card filling up, selecting quarter would um, reduce the file size and allow you to save more images. I'm just going to keep it at full for right now and hit OK. And the next thing you need to set is your transfer conditions. So I have my condition one as enable. And if I go into my setting, I can specify exactly what this transfer condition is. 
So in my example, I'm going to send all images, but if you wanted to send only bad images, for example, I could say my condition is where my total status is no good. And as you can see there, you can do it for specific tools or even the logic. So there are a lot of options there. I'm just going to send it for all. Then you can set the transfer destination folder. And here you can specify a folder name along with a file name and the index upper limit. You can also select how the IV3 will create subfolders. So it will create a subfolder once it reaches the index upper limit. So in my example right here, um, let's say it's going to create subfolders by the program number. So different program numbers would create different folders. And once that folder reaches my limit, it would then create another subfolder. Um, if you want to only keep, let's say the most recent 100 images on the SD card and you want to overwrite the oldest, you would want to set your index upper limit to that value and then say no sorting with folders. And at this point, if I reach my 100 images, once I take that 101st image, my image number one would be deleted and you're just gonna keep the most recent 100. So I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. Then finally, you can either enable or disable the total status condition being in the file name. So if I disable it, my file name is shorter, but if I enable, I now get my okay or no good result in the file name. And if I enable the timestamp, it would add the month, day, year, hour, minute, second to the file name as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just disable that for this example and hit okay. And at this point, I am all ready to start saving images and putting my IV3 into run mode. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Go into run mode. If I trigger this, I have a couple of no good parts. Then I'll change this out. And here are a couple of good parts. And then I'll do one more of a bad part. So at this point, I have several images that should be saved to the SD card. So I'm going to go back into program mode. And at this point, I could remove the SD card and put it into my computer, transfer those images from the SD card to my computer, and I would be good to go. I do wanna show you one other thing, however, before I do that. So the last function of the SD card is automatically backing up the sensor settings to the SD card. To do that, you go to the advanced settings and the utility tab, and there's a setting called SD card settings backup. If I go ahead and press okay, I can enable this setting and now anytime settings are modified in my program, it will automatically back up to the SD card. So this can be really beneficial if you need to replace your IV3, let's say one breaks and you need to replace it, you can take this SD card, put it in the new IV3 and it would automatically back up to the original settings. And it's also just really useful if you are making a lot of changes to your program to automatically have that backup um, and not have to manually do it each time a setting is changed. Disable that for this example. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and remove my SD card. There's a quick button up here that I can click. It does say that the navigator will be restarted, so you'll see that close. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that SD card. I'm now going to put that SD card into my PC. And you can see it pop up here with each image along with, so I have the IV3P format, the JPEG format, and the text document that I mentioned. So for example, if I go ahead and open up this JPEG, here it is. 
it has my total status along with my program number and the timestamp. An example of the text file is right here, date and time, again, the trigger number and the total status along with the tool result. So that pretty much sums up the functionality of the SD card with the IV3. I hope this helped explain how to use this functionality, but if you have additional questions, please give our tech team a call at 888 Keyance Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.